Buen Camino! Hello everyone, we are Charlotte and Corey and we are going to tell you our top 6 tips for walking the Camino. We have walked Camino Frances in 2018, we went from saint jean pierre de port to Santiago de Compostela and then carried on to Finisterre and in this year, 2023, we walked the Portuguese coastal way. We went from Porto to Santiago de Compostela and we finished around Easter. Yes, and from those two Camino walks, we have learned so much. We've got so many tips for you, things that we didn't know before the trip and things that we learned throughout the trip. So we're gonna give those all to you in this short video on our channel. So our first tip for you is to pack sensibly. Now packing is a major question on the Camino, what to take, how heavy your backpack should be, and a good general rule of thumb is your backpack should be no heavier than 10% of your body weight. We both went slightly over this because we had all our film gear, we filmed both our Caminos, we did daily vlogs, I'll link them in the description below, but essentially you just want a maximum of two changes of clothes. So that's gonna be like two pairs of socks, two pairs of undies, one to two pairs of t-shirt, and that could be t-shirt plus jumper, or shorts plus longs, don't take two t-shirts, two shorts, two jumpers, etc. Just one of each. And then underwear, obviously, I would say two because it'd be good for that day. So at the end of each day, you wash your undies and socks, you leave them out to dry overnight, maybe into the next day, then you have your fresh ones. So that's enough. Any essential extras maybe could be like pajamas or a change of clothes for going out for dinner, but try and keep it as minimum as possible. And remember, you can always buy stuff if you need to on the Camino or when you go into the cities. If you have anything that's super heavy, say you had a trip before you started your Camino, you can send your luggage to Santiago de Compostela and pick it up which is what we did because we had a trip before the Camino. So we sent off all the heavy items and literally just kept the bare basics. Other than your clothes, you're going to just want some space for maybe a small first aid kit, toiletries, somewhere to put your credential, somewhere nice and safe. And then obviously a little snack pack and a water bottle. And something that's fairly light and I found really, really useful was to have a nice thin pair of flip-flops too for the evenings when you just want your feet to breathe. That's something that I think is a nice luxury add-on. Tip number two is to take a guide. Now on our Camino in 2018, our friends brought the John Briley Camino Guide, which is an absolute classic. Everyone on the Camino has heard of this book. Now to bring it on the Camino is a little bit extra, but it was actually really entertaining to read the daily quote from John. It gave us a little bit of inspiration and motivation that was tailored just to that day. But in this last Camino that we did in 2023, we actually just downloaded an app. It was called the Wise Pilgrim app. And I believe you can get it for the Portuguese Camino, the Camino Frances, the Camino Norte, and they are populating all of the Caminos, so you will be able to use that app on any Camino that you do. We found it super useful because it gave you GPS locations of exactly where you were on the map, and you could see alternative routes when you were walking, which we found so useful. We could know if there was a fork in the road and there was an alternative route that might have been a more scenic path, rather than going through an industrial zone, which is something that we really didn't like doing on both Caminos. Using the app version of the guide, you are able to search for the albergue that you're looking for, the destination that you plan to walk to that day, see how many beds are available, you can even find contact details and call ahead to book. Some albergues will take a reservation and other albergues like municipal albergues will not. So you can get all of that information in the app, which we found very helpful. And you're going to be taking your phone anyway and it doesn't weigh anything extra to have a full Camino guide packed in there. Tip number three is one that I actually found out about before I walked the first Camino and honestly it's probably the best tip that I read and one I recommend to every pilgrim starting the Camino and that is to take a safety pin because there's days where your washing does not dry overnight and then you have these like wet socks or wet shorts and you're like well what do I do with them? So you take your safety pin and you hook it onto your bag and you're gonna look a bit odd walking down there and you've got all your socks and all your knickers swinging off your bag but they dry in the sun usually within a few hours if you're lucky and it just was so helpful. This is my Camino pack which I walked with for the Portuguese and it's still covered in safety pins and my shell but I think I have about three or four safety pins on there and yeah I just think that it is the best tip that I read and one I always recommend. So tip number four is a really good one if you're like me, a light sleeper, and you're gonna be staying in the public albergues where you could be in a dorm of up to 50 people, and you're thinking, how the heck am I gonna get to sleep tonight? 
Well, for me, it was thanks to these, some earplugs. They really, really saved the day for me. Like, I actually have the earplugs designed for water, but they're pretty good. They really stick in there and they really help me sleep. But other than that, I also had an eye mask. This is especially useful if you're walking in the summer months where it doesn't get dark till really late, probably way past your bedtime, or if you want to go to sleep a lot earlier than everyone else and the lights are still on. Lights usually switch off the latest 10 p.m. So sometimes you're knackered and you just want to go to sleep straight after dinner. This plus this is really good. Something else we highly recommend before you go is to learn the language of the place that you're going to. Even if it's just a couple of phrases to help you get by, it just makes your interaction with the local people in cafes and bakeries and albergues that much more friendly. They are so excited when they hear you try to speak their language. Attempt, even if it's just a few words. They will often help you or guide you to what you're trying to say. Un Coca-Cola? Normal. Normal. But learning a few phrases actually made my Camino experience much more enjoyable, being able to just put a little smile on people's faces and give it a go. The other option you can do is download Google Translate, which we found very, very useful for looking at road signs or looking at menus. Sometimes there isn't an English translation and you're actually able to open up the camera part of Google Translate and scan the menu in real time as long as you have an internet connection and you can translate live the menu as you're viewing it through your phone, which is something that not a lot of people know, but is very, very handy when you're traveling. That goes for all trips, really. But for the Camino, definitely try and pick out a few phrases. And tip number six is do not compare your Camino to other pilgrims on the route. Yeah, this is really important. Every single pilgrim has their own Camino journey and it's all about your way. Don't think they're going faster than me. They're going slower than me. They're having a rest day. I need to get here quicker than them or I'm not allowed to send my luggage on because that means I'm not doing the Camino properly. I'm not suffering enough or maybe I'm having too much of a good time. It doesn't matter. There is no judgment. If you're on the Camino, whatever way you do it, is the best way and that's for you. If that means that you get to the end of the Camino and you can experience it, then however you get there, just do it because it's the most amazing adventure you'll ever have and we honestly couldn't recommend it enough. Favorite trip I've ever been on. Yeah, we just loved it, especially Frances. Such amazing memories, we hope to do it again one day. But if there's anything else that you need to know, any other questions, just leave a comment below and we'll definitely help you on your Camino adventure. Thank you for watching. Again, if you want to see any of our Camino videos, we will link them in the description below, or you can go through our channel and find specific Camino videos that you're interested in, particular days that might be quite hard, like the first day on the Camino Francis. Ooh, the Pyrenees. You can see that all on our channel, so go and check it out. Like and subscribe if you got something out of this, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.